All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back in Eastport. Uh, as you can see, Andromeda's right behind me. Uh, they, they didn't leave, which I'm really relieved about. I got down here as early as I could, so I went to bed at 12.30. And I woke up at six uh, and I got down here but it, as you can see it's already sunny uh, the, the sun rises at 6 a.m. in Nice in the summer I got down here as soon as I could but as you can see the sun is already quite high in the sky it's already 25 degrees let's have a look at Ulysses uh, yeah Andromeda even and um, we'll have a look at some of the equipment they've got on board uh, I've got a lot of boats in the water today the U21 still in the water they've got a speedboat as well uh, and I'm going to look at the helicopter on the heli deck. So let's check that out. And then and we'll have a look around the rest of the port, see what else is in. I, I kind of can't take my eyes off Andromeda because it's so massive. Um, but um, there are a few other boats in here. There's one just off camera here, uh, Jade, and then there's Sovereign behind it. And then there's another one called Iramari over there, which I've, I've never seen before. So uh, we'll, we'll go and check them out. Uh, so yeah, so let's have a look around. Right, so what can we see? We've got the U21 tender there, which has got three decks on it, which is incredible. And then on the stand there, you can see a, a meeting, probably a deck department meeting. They usually have a deck department meeting on the on the aft deck there every morning on any boat, really. Well, they have it somewhere. But that's a good place to have it. You can see there's a big crew there. That's probably just deck department. Uh, so yeah, so it is a big boat, so it has a big crew. One of the questions I had, not that, on, on that question and answer I did was why, why does a big boat have to have a big crew? Well, you, you can see all the toys in the water here, and all of those toys have got to be launched and recovered, and there's, the boat's got to be cleaned, and look at the size of the boat. You've got more stuff hanging on the side, you've got the rescue boat up there, you've got another tender, you got a heli. You got the helicopter, which so you got to do helicopter operations, refueling. Uh, you got to have people qualified to uh, firefight in case a helicopter has a crash. They got to be ready when the helicopter lands and takes off. So yeah, you need a lot of crew. And don't forget, they're not all working all of the time. And when the boat's in operation and the owner's on board, you're going to have um, situations where the owner goes out for the evening, and then. Uh, comes back late at night and you've got to have people uh, driving the tender you've got to have people on board receiving the tender uh, the captain's usually ha hanging around so you've got all these people maybe at one o'clock in the morning when the boss comes back and then you've obviously you've got to have people sleeping for the next day you've got to you've got to start all over and do the washing and everything like that so you have to have a lot of people you see the funnels there gone are the days of big funnels these are very small um unobtrusive ones and um also on some vessels, this vessel probably has it too, they can actually use scrubbers and, um, and actually uh, have exhausts that are actually under the waterline. So they use scrubbers to clean the, the, the fumes and then, and then uh, it expels the under the waterline and that prevents the smoke from you know, polluting, and especially when you're at anchor and, um, and the boss might be sitting out on one of the decks, you don't want them to get covered in smoke. Uh, if you notice, because it's an expedition vessel, and because it was built by Cleven and they build uh, practical ships, you can see that the bridge actually has a rear view, which is excellent. Uh, also, I'm not sure, I can't tell from here, but it looks like the, uh, the wing station for where they dock the ship from is actually inside, inside those windows. So that the, the, the captain doesn't have to go out onto the bridge wing to, uh, to actually dock the ship, which is great because if it's raining, it gets soaked. Uh, so that's uh, really good and it also gives you know good great visibility when they're maneuvering when they're not docking and they just want to see behind it they can do that without without leaving and going out onto the bridge wing so that's great all right so this is uh, this is mostly at Jade uh, it's a 51 meter. It's quite small for. Uh, but when I say <laughs> it's not as big as my yacht. No, well, I just say quite small because I've just been looking at Andromeda, which is massive. So this now looks really tiny. 
Yeah, it's 170 feet by the way, 51 meters. Um, it's actually for sale. So if you're interested, you're on the mar in the market. It's actually for sale there, 21 million 500 thousand. It's only four and a half years old, I think. It's not not old, not old at all. Okay, so this is Moti Yacht Sovereign, 54 meter, 130 feet, 125 feet. This is also for sale, where uh, yachts hang out to be sold by the looks of it. I hope uh, Andromeda's not for sale. <laughs> the end of this video um, uh, I'm gonna sign off here it's uh, I don't know what time it is but it's very the Sun's very high in the sky now and it's I, I've come into some shade to be able to make this but it's too bright to film now so I'm gonna sign off uh, make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch and um, catch you soon already 25 degrees so it's gonna be another another belter today uh, if you're in the US, I know that that's not uh, that hot right now and you're getting a lot of uh, really hot uh, temperatures so you'd probably be thinking, oh, I wish for 25 but I've just come from the UK where it was about 18, 19 degrees uh, when we arrived here yesterday it was 32 degrees so yeah, it's, uh, it's hot for me uh, so yeah, so anyway